I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play Sun and Moon by Daniel Linson. He makes a ton of little games, and they're always pretty dang good. Lots of really good pixel art. So this is a little short precision platformer game. Oh, that's why that option was off. Okay, sorry. That screen pulse is definitely going off. I kind of like that it doesn't tell you what this button does. You just get to press it and find out what it does. But yeah, the gimmick is you can go through the ground. Hold on, we're turning an option off. Screen pulse. That was off by default, so... I can't get too mad, but that's... not what I want to see. So yes, this is a... game with fairly simple mechanics, but we got this non-linear progression of the map here, and it just reminded me of the good old days when I'd play a lot of... Well, I guess I still do it occasionally, but, uh, just lots of... Oop. Beware of the sideways momentum. Uh, just play a bunch of random little puzzle games, usually like flash puzzle games on new grounds, and just always something different. And that, this just reminded me a lot of that. Also, I really... Oh, dang. Um, I really enjoy when puzzle games have... There we go. have either a non-linear or at least some way to skip levels in the progression system. Because if you get stuck, and getting stuck is never fun, uh, hmm. then there's always like some other option, some other level you can play or something. Oh, I get it. Oh, dang, I almost slingshot myself. Alright, alright, alright. I see the physics now. There we go. Aw, oh, dang it! I can't believe I did that. I have not played very much of this. Why can't I... Oh, right, 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 right. I have not played too much of this. I just got myself familiar with the controls. Oop. Wait, what? Oh no! What? No, go away. We don't like- Aww. Aww. Okay. Okay. You gotta play serious now. We got enemies. Whoop! Whew. Uh... Thank you! Aww, no! Whatever. Screw you. Ah, oh, come on. Okay. Right. I forgot about that. Alright. So the ground forces you up, so you sort of have to think about that when you're trying to ah oh, go through stuff. Oof. Come on. The hardest part of this level is obviously making that first jump. Once you've got that first jump down, this is all just pancakes. Is that is that a common comparison for an easy thing? Pancakes, whatever. Interesting. So there's like, I'm not sure if I want to call that secret, but like weird levels with the little evil other shadow dude. Why does he want to hurt us? We're also a shadow dude. He should be our friend. Why can't shadow dudes just all get along with each other? Are we some sort of renegade? Is that what's happening here? Are we the bad guy? Or maybe there's just absolutely no story at all. That's also a possibility. Okay. No! This is a very difficult part of this game called letting go of a button, and it's just... I'm not very good at that, you see. Oh, I need more level beatingness to get through there. But I'm very glad for the instant respawn. That's appreciating pretty much anything unless you die like incredibly rarely, like whoops. Like a JRPG where you might you would generally go hours and hours without dying. 
like any sort of puzzle or platformer, you really are gonna want want that uh, instant respawn. It's just so obnoxious when it's not there. All right, let's get that. It's actually not the one I wanted to get, but whoop. there we go. So yeah, I wanted to, ooh, colors. This is intense. I might not be smart enough for this game. Oh! Is it really that simple? Well, that one is. Oh! Okay. I get it, I get it. Alright. Getting a- oop. Getting interesting here. Oop. Alright. Alright. I almost feel kind of bad. I got some cool new games today. Um, Dino Run DX came to Steam. Um, um, Armacarg came out. Armacrog. I can never pronounce that right. I mean, it's a made-up word, so whatever. But, uh... Whoop! Bah! Calm down there, music. Hmm... There we are. Okay. Um, I'm good at this game, as you can tell. Alright. So yeah, some cool stuff came out. Um, I actually still have quite a lot of a queue of games to play through for videos, but this game just seems simple and cool, and I wanted to show it off. Can I... Oh, man. I want to find out all the colors now. All right, we'll unlock one more color, and then, you know, you, you get the gist of it. But uh, yeah, this is Sun and Moon. It is on Steam. You can play the Game Jam version for free on itch.io. Um, I didn't check what price it was. I, it was in a, a Bundle Stars bundle. You may have already had it and like ignored it. Don't feel bad. I've done that too, but you really should check it out if you do happen to own it and were not aware of it. Like I was. Wait, what's with the moon? Oh, that's like a, you know, you did very well in this level indication. I just haven't seen them because I'm terrible. I see. Well, that was a pretty good one. Oh. Which, of course, has really high standards. All right, just a few more. I just want to see what that other color is, and we'll play a level or two as that color. Yeah, this is sun and moon and pretty dang sweet. I could do with some more music. Did it, did it change when he changed colors? I forget, honestly. Wait, how do I get back down? <clears throat> I think that must be the gimmick of the level, is you can't get back down if you... You know, settle up here. Yeah, that's the gimmick. Okay. See, there's a lot you can do with simple mechanics sometimes. I really like this level structure now that I'm seeing how it, you know, works out. I guess this would be a good way, a good game to test out that Steam media player. I, um, I've been trying out the Steam client beta, and it's got a much improved interface for Steam big picture mode. And I've always been slightly annoyed by big picture mode. It's like, it's a great idea. It's just not executed quite well enough. It was still better than using the normal Steam interface um, 
with controller, obviously, but um, they finally seem to have really taken it seriously because of Steam Machines coming out, and so now it's actually pretty dang good. Uh, one annoyance, Bandicam does not record games launched through Big Picture. It tries to record the Steam client for some reason, so I can't really record directly from it, but that doesn't truly matter. I suspect they won't be fixing that either, because it's only an annoyance for people like me. Oh, wait. Oh, I duh. So this is a surprising amount you can do with this mechanic. I really like games with this, like, every level is like a new theme or gimmick or whatever you want to call it. I think Yoshi's Island was kind of the master of that back in the day, and that's why I ah, was a little disappointed when I ended up playing Super Mario World after Yoshi's Island. It just doesn't feel as amazing when you go back that way. Alright, let's check out this other color. Oh yeah. Music's, the music's not bad, it's just repetitive, and there's only the one track, which of course adds the repetition. I knew that was going to happen. I hate when you could feel that you're like, oh man, I love the fireball look when he goes under the... That's great. I just want to play just to see all the colors now. That's awesome. That's one thing that palette swap... Palette swapping gets a bad rap, but I mean, it... It can be used to amazing effect. Just in a limited color palette game, and all the colors are carefully thought out, and... You can do some really cool stuff that, well, you just couldn't do otherwise. So yeah, I will definitely always like limited co color palette games. Oh crap! And uh, and palette swapping, like not like palette swapping isn't only about you know increasing your enemy count, but as we can see here, you can do lots of cool stuff with it. Whoop. Come on. No! That switch button is a killer. Alright. Wait. I want to see one thing in the interface. Oh, it's got... It's got the time for the next, um thingy. The next um, milestone or whatever you want to call it. Um, the next rank, I guess. Crap. That's cool. Minimal but gets the job done. And you can just start levels instantly. That's one thing I really liked in um, N++. Whoa! That's bright. Um, there's just instant in and out levels. Just that is very... Oh, I can't go over. Very satisfying. Oops, that was one of the intro levels. But yeah, this is Sun and Moon. Uh, do take a peek at it. It's pretty cool. 